Hi and welcome to another 5 minutes tutorial and this time about the volume shader. So I've done some preparation right now. So in my uh, word setting I changed the strength to zero to get black background and I also add this torus and I add some subdivision on it just so we have something to work with. So now I will take away this window here and we can start with the lesson. So if I press Shift A here and go to Shader, I have three different things. I have the principal volume, volume absorption and volume scatter. So if you start with the principal volume and now take the volume to the volume here and go to the rendered, you can see now that we get some type of fog or like mist here and that it's like white here now that is because it reflects from the light that I have in the scene so if I go back here and turn off the light you can see everything gets black but with the light you get reflection from the light into this so now we have the smoke here we can control the density so no density then we don't have anything or high density it's totally solid you can't see through so it's you can control it between stuff here then you have the anisotropy and that is the direction for all the scattering of the particles here or the fog so if you have it really much on one direction or another direction we don't have any scatter then everything is just coming from one certain direction so normally you would like it to be around zero if you don't have the light so you take it away then you can make the fog glow by itself by adding some emission into it so you get like white fog here without having any external light normally that is not natural but you can have it in if you want to so i take it to zero and i turn on the light instead and then we have the black body and the black body is as i explained in a previous session when we're talking about black body the visible color that comes when you have a warm objects like uh, glow or fire or something like that and you can put that to one and as soon as you put it to one you get some glow inside of this as well so let's play with it very quickly so i can add a Voronoi texture so shift a texture and a Voronoi texture and then i need some variation on this uh, density so i would add a map range so shift a and then I go to a converter and select a map range and take away the clamp and take the distance to the value. And now I need some narrow thing here. So like 0 0.78 and 0 0.8 or 0, something like that. Yes, yeah, so we have a very narrow gap. And then take this to density. And as soon as I do that, you can see that almost everything disappeared here. So we increase the value a bit on our fog here it could also be that i will take this down so let's say 75 and 78 and also change a bit on the details here so there we get it up so now you can see that it's where we have the fog there we or the smoke there we have high density, there we see everything that is grey and smog and so on. But where we have low density, you can see that the black body temperature that goes through here. So you can see that we get it like glowing inside here. So we can play with that as well. So adding noise, shift A, texture, uh, noise texture. Uh, we can put in, as you can see now, the temperature is 1000. So we can play between 1000 and 4000. So we do a multiply. So shift A, uh, convert the math, and we put in a multiply. Take the factor here and change it to 4000. We can take away the normalize to get bigger range and take that to the temperature. And now you get it glowing inside and you get this gray stuff that is more like the fog on the outside. So this is stuff that you can do with the principal volume. You can also do uh, like a foggy scene. So using the light and then making that cell light go through that fog. So we can do that as a last step. So shift A, mesh, uh, we put in a cube here. 
you make that cube really big so it's like this and then we go to new material and here we take away the principal again and we add the other two shaders so go to shader and here we take the volume absorption which eat the light and then we have one under so shift a again shader volume scatter which scatters the light we can add them together by using an add shader or mix shader so i will use an add shader in this case so shift a shader add shader put it here put it here and put that to the volume and as soon as i do that you can see we get this volume here where we can see the donut inside and the light is because we have the light up here so if i move that it reflects on the fog here so we can just take down the density and then you can see no density then we don't have anything but with density we get scattered all over the place if we want to take up the density for the absorption then that eats the light and we take away the light here and you can of course control that and suddenly since all these rays are visible you can change this light into something else so let's say that we use a spot instead and take the the spot size to more narrow and take it in a bit here then you can see that we get these god rays from the light using the, uh, the scatter and absorption and you can then control it here no absorption everything goes through absorption it eats up and with more density it's harder to get through and with low density it's easier to get through so you can play with these and of course you can add some color if you like to make it happen in a good way so so here you can play with everything and how visible this is is of course depending on the power of the light so if you take down that 200 for instance it will be uh, much uh, less light in the fog here so now you have a little bit information about the volume it took a little bit more than five minutes but now i hope you understand how you can use these things to play around a bit so i just say bye for now and see you later